welcome back to my life as a maiden. A trap's tale. The trope's tale. Yeah, the trope's tale now. <laughs> the trope's tale has begun. We do only need to see one more waifu. Yanderer! Yanderer, hopefully. If not, we need to investigate which one is. Gotta poke a few holes. Need <laughs> to poke a few holes. Uh, uh, is that a pencil or are we just happy to see them? Oh no. Can we get a threesome? Can we just have a whole lot? Can we just have a wall I can't eat it? Okay, so she has like yellowy brown eyes, right? But she's got red eyes. Yeah. She the and devil. Maria and, and, Maria and Erica has um, um, red eyes. Yeah. They're both the devil. They know the way of the devil? They know the way of the devil. They know the voodoo? They know the voodoo. They'll never freeze. They are a queen. They know <laughs> the way. Oh god, that meme. This. Last episode, the spaghetti. The spaghetti. Now it's the way. What's next? Okay, enough side traction. Oh yeah. Um. But I, uh, we wouldn't gain anything from telling them what happened. Like, uh, no, it, it's kind. Of, it's like this. This will be the first warning, so I'll keep it a secret. Yes, but I can't say why it was. It's probably even worse than not telling them. Ah, yeah. oh, tell us, tell us, tell us! I'm doing like a. M an oh, tell us, tell us, tell us! It's probably like a better way of doing it. If she doesn't want to say why it was, then don't force her. Besides, knowing my sister, it was probably something stupid. We don't need to know the details. Yeah, she was wrong. She is stupid. Thank you for understanding. Erica Odi doesn't like me, so I don't want to make things worse by embarrassing her. Aww. Mm. Aww. Stomach growls. Mmm. In front of three waifu waifus. Well, well, just it makes them, you know, go get us a sandwich. Oh, shit. Ah, I forgot why I came in here in the first place. Excuse me while I grab a plate. That was pretty good. Is this how the food usually is? For us, we have the best cook working in our dorm. I've tried the food in the by the cooks in the other dorms, and it's not as good. It's not bad, it just doesn't compare. We have it made in this dorm. Muh. Muh. What is it? I don't think you told me your name. But you said muh. You already got the muh. Are you psychic? Do you know things? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Maria Lockhart. You got the muh, right? It, it completely slipped my mind that I never told you. Well, Maria. Do you know if my sister is still in your room? I'm not sure. She mentioned that she wanted to take a walk, but I left the room after our argument. I don't know if she's still there or decided on that walk after all. The walk after all. Thanks, I'll go check up on her. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Took some sense into her. Don't let her be mean to Maria. I would knock her teeth out. I would break her legs. Uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti. She touches my spaghetti, I will beat her. Maria is my spaghetti now. Yeah. I try. Oh, look how happy she was. Look, just look at that. It's like, err. Err. Just like, mmm. Got that puffed out a cheek. No. It's nice that Sylvia is trying to help, but she doesn't know that full story. I doubt she would get Erica to lose him up around me. Hmm. Yes? 
We haven't met before, have we? Uh oh. She's seeing through. Why is she asking that? Did I do something to tip her off, or is she starting to see through my disguise? Like the word tip. There. Tip. Oh, just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual innuendos. <laughs> Why do you believe we have? I have no idea. I had no idea who you were when we met in a cafeteria. It's just silly feeling I've been having. Probably met someone similar and have been recalling them. I need to be careful around her. She's suspiciously recognising me. Some... Someone like Maria? No way someone could look as half as good. It's hard to do that voice. Someone like Maria? No one... No way someone could look as half as good. Um, Dawn, you... You're not, um, you know, interested in me, are you? Huh? Ah, ha 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 ha! Not like that. I, I can think you're hot without wanting to go out with you, can't I? Oh, she looks sad now. She, she does want to go out with her. I mean, him. The trap. Yeah. I guess I don't know too much about relationships. I'm only... I'm only interested in boys that way. Speaking of, have either of you two ever had a boyfriend? Just one. I dated a guy for two weeks during summer. How far did how far did you two go? Not much more than kissing. He kept trying to touch my chest and my butt, so I broke up with him. It's a suck that your first boyfriend was like that. Yeah. She says she's sad. Oh. Go eat more some spaghetti. Spaghetti make her happy. Spaghetti make her happy. What about you, Maria? All oh, right. You had no friends, so no boyfriend either. No, I never dated anyone in my entire life. I bet you could easily get yourself a boyfriend if you wanted. In fact, I could imagine tons of men lining up for their chance to be with you. And you're choosing who you like best. Ew! Somebody just let the cat out of the bag! Ah, I instantly... Inst I can't read. Instinctively, instinctively reacted. That would do. My tongue is tied. Missing all these accents up and that. Well, two accents, really. What Dawn said kind of grosses me out, since I have zero interest in guys like that. They have a pee pee. I got a pee pee. No mixing. So it's okay you, for you to be a trap, but not gay. What type of trap are you? Aha! N not the reaction I was expecting. So what if I was... What if it was girls instead? Don't imagine it. Don't imagine it. Don't imagine it. Don't... Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. Pitching a tent, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a pencil or are you just have to Tuck it, see? tuck it. No, not down the leg. I mean, oh shit. <laughs> She's wearing a short skirt and all. <laughs> I mean, he. Oh no, which way do you tuck it? Oh sh <laughs> crap. Right. And panties. Yeah. I just, oh. oh no. I just I can't fathom it at all. Oh shit. Pray to have a small pee pee. Well. Don't assume. No. You're a br blushing. Aren't you going a little too far, Dawn? Ah, oh, sorry, Maria. I don't care if you like girls. Could, could you please not tell anyone? Sure, I keep it to myself if you want me to, for a small price of a spaghetti. 
can't say I approve, but I won't say a word. It's not any of my business. Oh, dear. We're a lesbian in a Christian school, but secretly it's not a lesbian, it's a straight dude who's a trap! Does it still count? Because traps are supposed to be gay, aren't they? <laughs> are traps gay? Yes. Just pull out yes. If, if it, it doesn't matter if they're, they're dressing up as a girl. If they're trying to get a man so they can touch peepees with each other, that's pretty damn gay. Nothing wrong with gayness, just trapping like that is kind of a, I don't know, it's a douchest move, unless you're very upfront about it. Yeah. Phew, thank you both of you. I've got to take a, like a half a pause. This is going to be hard. One day, and they've already discovered that I like girls. You lay it out because you had to go, ew, guys, no, they got that 11th finger. <laughs> Yawn, I'm getting, I'm gonna hit the head early tonight. I was so excited to move into the dorms that I've stayed awake all night. High five and don't touch my spaghetti. <laughs> Maria's my spaghetti. Touch her or I'll break your legs. Uh. Night, Audrey. Remember what I've said. Good night, Dawn. And I probably won't. Yeah. Night, Maria. Remember, you must forget now. Good night. And uh, I can't remember the way to the fucking school, so I probably won't remember <laughs> that I'm your spaghetti. Yeah. Control 10 memory loss. Dot, dot, dot. Good luck this year. These. There's a hundred of girls here. I'm sure one of them will be your type and be into girls too. Well, we have to choose out of five. The dawn? Ha ha ha. You didn't give me any spaghetti. And that's a uh, indirendo for something. <laughs> if that is what that girl is like when she's tired, then I can't imagine what she like when she's wide awake did I read that right if that if that is what that girl is like when she's tired then I can't imagine what she's like when she's wide awake we'll see tomorrow be sure to set your alarm and try not to stay up too late okay I think I'm going to bed too I'm getting kind of sleepy as well I should have mentioned it to Dawn, but it isn't good to go to bed after you have eaten. Did Dawn have two plates? Because when we got here, she was already eating. Yeah, she probably did. Her she life. likes her spaghetti. I, I, that needs to stop. <laughs> I think I've heard that before. Want to hang out a little bit in my room before you go to sleep? I is is. That all right? Considering I'm a, I'm a, a trap. As long as you don't flirt with me, then it's fine. I won't. Will your roommate be okay with me coming over? Didn't I tell you? Sylvia is my roommate. She got it made. No, you didn't. I wonder if she be is okay. I wonder if she's back from seeing Erica. Earlier. How much earlier? Hey Erica, are you in there? <laughs> dot dot dot. Erica? I guess she's out on her walk. I wonder what happened to her. She only goes out for night walks when something is seriously serious is buffing her. Bothering her. Something serious is bothering her. There you are. Sylvia? What are you doing out here alone? I'm just doing some thinking. About Maria? How, how did you know? I met her in the, in the, at dinner. I met her at dinner. You two got into some kind of argument, right? Yes, it was my fault. You can admit fault, but you couldn't apologize. Okay. 
So why aren't you apologizing? It's not that simple. Yes, it is. Go up to her and say, I'm sorry, I'm I was wrong. You don't understand. You think I don't? From what Maria told me, you were planning on talking, uh, taking a walk before the argument. That means there was so there was already something wrong on your mind. Something on your mind. Ah! Stop putting words in there, brain. You had an issue with Maria before the argument even begun. She's able to deduce all that from a few key words. Pretty detective, yo. Yeah? Yep. Sylvia Colfaro. Maybe I haven't even given her enough credit. She's smarter than I think for. That's right. I don't like Maria. Not after I learned something about her. Oh no. Is it really a big deal? It's what a big deal? What you discovered about her. If you knew that if you know what I if you knew what I know, you'd agree that it is a huge deal. Hmm, did she kill someone? No. Not something like that. Steal? Cheat? Commit fraud? Brut brutally injure someone? Drink and drive? No, it's different. I can't explain it. Worse than any I listed? No, but... But nothing. You're at fault here for accusing her of whatever it is you accused her of. You don't get it, Sylvia. Maria is a... is... A boy? Dun, dun, dun. You knew? How? How did she know? Yep. How? Well, um, that's not important part. Okay. You were eavesdropping when we were talking to the headmistress, weren't you? That's how she knew it was Maria! She said, Muh! Yeah. Muh! I don't know your name! She was lying. She already knew her. I will neither confirm nor deny it. So that confirms it for me. That's how she knew it was Maria. She got the mr right. You are definitely eavesdropping. Fine, I admit it. I saw Audrey bring him to Mum's office and remember that she urgently needed to see you. I couldn't help myself. I'm a sneaky little thief. Sneaky little rogue. She has ears, eyes, and ears everywhere. She has eyes and ears everywhere. She's like Ferris. She's the spider. Haven't you ever heard the expression "curiosity killed the cat"? Yes. I have no idea how that's relevant. Never mind. Don't you see why I'm so troubled with Maria? Because you're, because <laughs> of your. Stupid dislike of men? Why does that even matter if he has a different body part down there and is wearing a padded bra to pretend ha he has breasts? And this pad padded bra is so obvious. It's not very good. Uh, yeah, I know. It is really getting to me at the moment. You're the most logical person I know, but throw males into a situation and you suddenly become an idiot. Don't talk to me like that. I am your oldest sister and also a cunt. And will be treated with respect. Then treat Maria with, with respect. He's done nothing wrong. I, I know that. You think I don't? You think I don't feel bad or for wrongly accusing him of making him cry? I do. It's not easy for me. Father left us just because he got bored of us, and our male cousins practically tortured me as a child. Abandonment issues. Daddy issues. Oh no. And, like, relative rivalry. Because that, you know, that's how relatives act. You think, you think I got pushed in the dirt by some cousins? They glued my... <laughs> they glued my hair to a street post, wrote insults on my forehead, replaced my candy with bugs, pushed me into the deep end of the port of our pool, where I nearly drowned and so much more. When freaking relatives, yeah. that crap's gonna happen. 
Who says we can't attack that? Yeah, who said, you know, wallop them in the middle? Nuts. Yeah. Knee in the nuts! When I was in elementary school, a boy started a rumour saying that I slept with him. Elementary school. Elementary day was I don't know, I was just a bit young for a dude to say. Yeah. I call bullshit on that. Twelve. Okay. We were twelve. I had no interest in such things. But everybody believed him. I went through ridicule at because of him. <clears> There's <throat> rumors like that from my school. I never believed in one. You, you can't believe a dude. Especially at that age. Yeah. You get all the pussy. Like, oh, sure you do. Cool. Sure you do. Man, I still don't believe dudes nowadays that say that. It's so hard for me to believe that males won't try to hurt me somehow. You have to try, sis. It and isn't Maria the perfect way? He looks exactly like a girl. Even after knowing he's a boy, I couldn't spot anything anything's visible on him that indicate he is not a girl. The perfect trap. He has. <laughs> he <laughs> put the fucking analogy to it. Lunch now. Oh, the perfect drug too. Perfect trap. You are oh, the, the perfect, perfect trap. The perfect trap. The perfect trap. The oh, perfect trap. We, what have we started? <laughs> <laughs> we should turn it into a song now. You are the, the perfect, perfect trap. trap. The, the perfect trap. trap. The perfect yeah. trap. Oh. <laughs> he has broader shoulders than us. That's about it. I probably wouldn't have noticed if I didn't already know he was a guy. Is a guy. One of the other girls could somehow tell that he is wearing a padded bra, but no nobody else could. Can't you switch roommates with me? You're obviously okay with him, and I'm not, so it would make sense. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, you need to get over it. <sighs> Why not? What kind of sister would I be if I just let you run away from your problems? Hell yeah, yeah. but you, you seem better though. I, I wouldn't mind as well. Didn't you always tell me to face my your problems head on? Using my words against me, you crafty Sylvia. Told you, she's a rogue. She's a rogue. Make sure you check your pockets around her. Yeah. All right, all right, all right already. I tried to get along with him. Thank goodness, convincing you was exhausting. I was serious for way too long. Look at my facial muscles. I feel some of them haven't <coughs> <coughs> have gotten permanently stuck. It was only a few minutes. You're so annoying sometimes. Hey, <laughs> hey, love you too, big sis. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to apologize to him. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry, I'm a douchebag. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that we had the same styles, so I apologize for my actions and how I reacted and for calling you the P-word. So, what do I say? How about sorry for being a major jerk? A mega jerk? I'm being serious. I've never apologized to a boy before. Yeah, it's basically that same side to a girl. It's the same thing as apologizing to a girl. We're not that different from boys, and Maria seems even more similar to us than your average guy. Just do what you did when you apologized to Audrey last year. Okay, I can do this. But can you do this? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> there you go. There's the other one. I can't believe you actually have to psych up yourself up for this. Well, good luck. Tell me how it goes tomorrow. Come on, Erica. Don't get cold feet. I just have to say a few words to him, and then I can go to bed. Oh, crap! Uh, he isn't here. Maybe he's hanging, uh, hanging out with one of the other girls. I'm a little relieved. I have more time to think about what to say. Should I be serious or casual? Should I bow my head when I apologize? Should I look him in the eyes or is that too intense? 
No, I think I'll leave it there, as it's been 25 minutes. So, thank you for watching My Life as a Maiden. A trope's tale now. Yeah, a trope's tale. A trope's tale. We're just looking for the yandere. Yeah. But what, maybe it's going to turn into a yandere's tale? <laughs> uh, no, it'll just be the mega trope trail. Yeah, the mega trope so, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye!